All right, NASCAR Cup Series, pick five players, uh, past, present, anybody that played this past year. Um, again, uh, I just want to thank you guys for being a part of the contest. It was very difficult to do in 2020. Um, just a lot happened this year, and a lot of people went through a lot of different things. Uh, we had a uh, refinery explosion not too far from our house here. Um, luckily, we didn't have any damage from that. Um, we had two hurricanes that we had to endure. We had some damage from both of those, especially the first round, the first hurricane that came through. Um, a big limb went through my uh, little shop, my shed roof, uh, our privacy fence hit the ground that's just about complete got to redo the gate on it and uh, got all the pickets up so that's good the roof on the shed the sheds back a hundred percent everything's back the way that I had it um, so thank God for insurance you know and all of that so but uh, if you're unfamiliar with my NASCAR pick five contest basically what I do during the regular season and the playoffs it's going to start this next year with Daytona. It's a die cast contest. You can win NASCAR die casts each and every Cup Series race. And even if you don't win die casts, if you don't win the contest, you earn points on the season based off of uh, some different factors, <clears throat> how well your, uh, your picks perform. I carry those uh, points you know, under your name throughout the whole regular season. And uh, then we have the round of 16, the top 16 in points, and uh, all the way down to the final four. So this past year was my first time to offer a $150 gift card to the winner of the contest. And that's really what this video is about. Uh, the guy that won, uh, Anthony Farmer, uh, sad to say, very sad to say that he is no longer with us. Um, Anthony was 32 years of age, had a lot of uh, underlining, just, just health issues, and uh, Anthony passed away. And uh, he was a big Chase Elliott fan, just like myself. So it's really cool that he got to see Chase win his first championship. And uh, he was the winner of the Pick 5 uh, championship as well. He, he, was, he knew his NASCAR. He loved NASCAR. <clears throat> and um, you know, I kind of got to know this guy a little bit. He, he was a good player and a very, very honest guy. And uh, anytime somebody else would, you know, because with the points, having to go through everybody's points every week, I know that he was keeping up with the points himself because at the end of a race he would let me know if anyone won, you know, before I would even have a chance to sit down with the numbers and look over everything myself. He would say, hey, this person won. And then I would sit down, you know, at the table with all my paperwork and, you know, sure enough, you know, he was right on the money every time. So, yeah. He loved the competition of the contest and it, it was fun for him and uh, you know with everything that I went through this past year keeping this contest going it was it, it was tough it was really really tough um, but for some reason I just you know <clears throat> had that desire and you know I just got to keep doing it got to keep doing it well after he won the championship and got that money he told me, you know, I really appreciate it because it helped me get some of my, my medications. And uh, this was at a time when he was in the hospital, you know, and he was really, just really not doing well. And um, to hear something like that, you know, it, it really hit home with me that uh, not only did the contest give him something to look forward to, but uh, the winnings helped him where he needed it the most. And, the, you know, righteous redneck. People ask me all the time, you know, why, why do you call yourself that? It's just something on a whim that I came up with. I, I love cars. I love racing. 
I like working on cars, uh, and I love God, you know, with all my heart. So I kind of put those things together and, you know, um, righteous redneck. So it just kind of fit. So, but yeah, just wanted to let all of you guys know that uh, I appreciate everybody that plays this contest that will be back in uh, this next season, 2021, starting with Daytona. And uh, again, you know, Anthony Farmer, uh, he's going to sorely be missed by myself and, and in this contest because he guy, the guy was a competitor. <laughs> you know, he knew, he, he knew his NASCAR. So uh, c keep the family in, in your thoughts and in your prayers. I would, I would greatly appreciate that. And, um, you know, you, you never know when you, and that's, you know, I do this contest out of my own money. Um, I, I, I am monetized here on YouTube, but it's not a whole lot of money. It does help me a little bit, uh, with the contest. And, um, you never know when you, when you try to do good for people, you know, and then give people something fun to do. You know, it's kind of kind of like God. Um, God let it go to the person that it really need, needed to go to. You know, uh, and it, it's just a it's a good feeling for me knowing that uh, somebody won and and was able to use that to really help themselves out. You know, in, in a time when they needed it the most. So. Uh, Anthony Farmer, you're going to be sorely missed in this contest. Um, so this next season uh, will definitely be, you know, in his memory, you know, the contest will roll on, you know, in, in his memory because, you know, he, he would be right there with you guys playing along. And um, just keep the, the family in your thoughts and prayers. So, again, <clears throat> Daytona, we're going to be cranking this thing up again going to be a couple of changes uh, once we do start back up in 2021. Once we reach the playoffs, uh, tiebreakers will be determined uh, by who does the best in that particular round. So if it's the round of 16 and uh, we're, we're trying to make the cut down to the round of 12, got two people tied for 12th. Whoever did the best in the round of 16, those three races before that, uh, that cutoff, you know, um, those three races in the round of 16, uh, before we go into the round of 12, there's two people tied. Whoever did the best in those three races in that particular round, uh, points wise, uh, whoever was the most consistent in that round will be moving on. So it's going to be based off of that particular round, uh, tiebreakers. So, uh, also, the regular season champion will also get a gift card. Uh, not sure on the amount yet, but it'll it'll be a good gift card. You know, something for whoever's on top at the end of the regular season. And then, of course, uh, the 150 goes to the champion at the end of the season. So, um, and if you're unfamiliar with it, just stick with this channel. Make sure that you hit the uh, notification bell to the right. That way, you know. Uh, each and every time I post a video, that way you can stay uh, on track with me and uh, what I'm doing here with the uh, NASCAR Pick 5 Contest. So, uh, look forward to seeing you guys in February. And uh, we're going to kick off the contest then. And uh, I look forward to doing it. And again, thank all of you who, who have been playing. And uh, I know a lot of you are looking forward to this, this next season. And uh, looking forward to it as well. So again, Anthony Farmer, keep his uh, Farmer, keep his um, his family in your thoughts and prayers. You guys take it easy.